What's going on gamers? Today we are going to go over how to install and use the supplementaries mod in Minecraft. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell to stay up to date on all future videos. In the vast world of Minecraft, there are a ton of blocks and items to use and explore. While there are additions across each main update, some players turn to mods to find what they can't seem to get in the regular releases. With supplementaries, you get a mod that includes many new items and tweaks that resonate with the existing vanilla counterparts instead of trying to replace them completely. Visit the Supplementaries CurseForge page and press Files at the top to view all of the downloads. Find the version that you want to use and then press the download button to the right hand side. Save the file to a safe location and then do the exact same thing for the matching version of Moonlight Lib. Head to your Apex server panel, stop the server, and then scroll down to the game file section and make sure you're running a matching version of Forge or Fabric to the mod that you downloaded. After that, enter the FTP file access on the left hand side, log in, and then find or create the mods folder and enter it. Press upload in the top left, and on the next page, drag and drop your mod files into the upload area. Once they're at 100%, you can use your server name at the top of the page to return to the main panel where you can restart the server to load up the mod. Now, before you move on, you're going to want to make sure you have Forge or Fabric installed client side. Once that's done, open your Minecraft launcher and visit the installations tab at the top, hover over your new profile and select the open folder icon. In the new window, find or create the mods folder and enter it, and then drag and drop the mod files here. You can return to the Minecraft launcher and push play to get started. There are a ton of new blocks, items, and tweaks that are made to your world once the mod is installed. These aim to expand upon your vanilla experience for both aesthetics and functionality. For a full list of features, visit the Supplementaries Wiki page, but we can go over a few today. Flags are a horizontal banner that comes in a ton of colors and designs. If configured, the flag will also be able to swing in the wind. The pedestal allows you to place various items on top of it for display, and if end crystals are placed, they're going to power up an enchanting table. The statue can hold a single item in its hand with different poses. Alternatively, if you put redstone underneath it, it will make it wave. The planter allows any plant to be grown without the need for water. This is useful for nether farms, and it can hold flowers. The cog block is similar to redstone dust, but they can also work vertically, allowing for a more compact redstone configuration. The spring launcher is similar to the classic piston and slime block combination, which will launch players and mobs to a higher altitude. The key allows you to claim ownership over certain blocks, preventing other players from accessing it without the key. And if you ever place a block down wrong, with the wrench you can rotate many blocks, including stairs and signs. The slingshot allows you to fire entire blocks, which are then placed on impact. This might be helpful for a fun way of building, or just to cause chaos. And finally, if you want to summon your pet without moving too far, the flute allows you to summon all of your non-sitting pets, or you can bind it to a specific one. So now you know how to install supplementaries and some of the amazing components that it adds, but we didn't really even scratch the surface, so make sure to take a look at that wiki guide to learn all about all of the new features. Whether you use the mod for any of the decoration blocks or to expand your redstone arsenal, there are additions for everyone. With so many possibilities, you'll never run out of ways to use this mod. That's all for this one, gamers. As always, I hope you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.